Hey everybody, TBG Hunter here, and welcome to 2016's Halloween special. This is Limbo! Sorry, I was watching the Limbo with Lyrics video before I started this recording session. But yes, anyways, 2016's Halloween special, Limbo, let's get right into it. This is a game I've actually hold very highly in terms of like the puzzle platformer games. I don't know why. It it, it just really clicks. It, it, visually it's impressive. Uh sound design it's really good. It's very ambiance. It's very actually soothing at times. I actually do like listening to the music and the ambiance that this game has to offer to just like relax when I'm usually editing videos sometimes. But, anyways, welcome to Limbo, the game where you go right, and pretty much do that. You also solve puzzles, but that's another story for another time. I gotta say, it, it still holds up. I'm actually playing the Xbox One version of this game, and this is actually also a trial in and of itself, because, well, this is actually the first time I'm actually doing a full HDMI recording, so if things go smoothly, then it's a possible gateway that I will be able to do more of these in the future. And just jump over there. Now this game, you will die a lot in this game if you don't know what you're doing. And trust me, during my like first and second run through the game, I've got to admit, I've died a lot. And it's not made my achievement hunting in this game any that much more easy when it comes to the fact that I just want to get the damn achievement for beating the game without th five deaths, but that's another story. I... There are some, like, puzzles in the game that I just truly hate outright. Some that are just, like, 20 times bullshit, but... Again, we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. I still really enjoy this game, and you know what? It, it was very fitting. This was actually a game I've had on the back burner for quite a while. Probably all the way back in March I wanted to do this game. And, well, I just thought, hey, it's spooky, it's depressing, it's very atmospheric in the terms of this feels like something you would play during Halloween. So I thought, you know what, why don't we make this 2016's Halloween series? I did have a n few other ideas of what to do for a 2016 series, but I just decided to do Limbo instead because I just really wanted to get this game out. But, yeah, there's not really much more to do. Just keep going right. Right, everything seems to be fine. And, oh, we have here, we've got... Bear traps. Who just leaves a bunch of bear traps in the forest? Seriously. And butterflies. Oh, look at the little butterflies. Uh, no, come back, little butterflies. Please, you're my salvation. Thank you. Okay. Uh, oh, what is a, a dead porcupine hanging in the tree? All right, well, whatever. We'll just get up in there. And, whoa. Hmm. We can't really do anything because this thing's weighing it down too much, but hey, we got ourselves a bear trap, so why don't we move it underneath the porcupine and... Chomp. Now while I'm playing this, I might as well say that I'm actually still looking forward to finally being able to play with Playdead's new game that they released a few months back, Inside. I've heard it's received, it was critically received very well, but... I just never had the chance of playing it. Oh god! Hopefully by the time this series ends, I may actually have a chance to play it, but eh, who knows. Keep on jumping. The art style in this game actually really like reminds me of like a boy in his blob. Too bad I don't have a blob to hug right now. Because being in this setting, I could really use the companionship. Hmm. I could try and swim it. But you know what? That might not be the smartest idea. Especially since the box seems to not be all floaty. Because, well, it has a bunch of holes in it. So, let's climb up here and see if we can find an alternate route. Shall we? Swing. I 
I actually... There's something I actually consider this game to be as, like, the ultimate ASMR video game. Because just how, like, how the ambiance plays with the background and all that stuff. Oop! There is something out there. I might as well show it off for, like... Honestly, I would suggest people, like, play this game for themselves to get the collectibles in this game. Because they're kind of out of the way and they really don't have a lot to show off. But basically, that's what the collectibles in this game are. Just, like, little glowing eggs. There was one back at the very beginning where instead of going right, you do the unthinkable and actually go left. I just didn't get it because, well, A, I've already collected that one. I'm still missing a few. I still need to go back and do the collectibles in in terms of that but and eh, we're not gonna do that right now we're just gonna continue on this journey into nightmare land Oop. and jump hmm we got a bear trap in the tree. As something I actually do like in mechanic wise is like little boy right here will actually like look up if there's like a point of interest like above him or below him. It's a little little detail that really like helps you out in this. A oh, little butterfly. Little oh god. Uh. Uh. It it it, it is a giant thing. It is a very giant thing. Come on, come on, you can't hit me, can't, you can't hit me, float like a butterfly, sting like a bee, whatever you're going to do, you can't stab me, come on, I'm right here, mm. well whatever that thing is, it, it knocked down the bear trap, so you know what, why don't we use it to enact some divine intervention, I'm calling the bear trap divine. That's uh, that's uh, something I never thought I'd say in my life. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Guess what? You don't have a claw anymore. Aha. All right. Right here. Boop. All right. Now, real quickly, I want to back up because he immediately stabs you, and I'm not gonna lie. First time I got it, I got stabbed through the brain by his little like pincer tentacle pointy thingy. It's like, oh my god, that is terrifying. Do I really want to go there? I mean, that thing just went right up that tree. How do I know it's not going to ambush me the second I go through that dark area? Uh, just put on your siren. Everything will be all right. Wee woo. Wee woo. Wee woo. Wee woo. I don't like this setting. Wee woo. Wee woo. Wee woo. Wee. I can't move. Uh, I can't move. Wee woo. Wee woo. Wee woo. Oh god. Come on. Eh. Eh. I gotta escape. No. No. No, oh god, it's touching me. I can feel the hairs on its my back. This is actually my nightmare, by the way. Like, I've actually almost had a nightmare like this once. It's like, one of the... It's actually, like, been a plethora of weird dreams I've been having in life. Alright, if I don't move, it won't know I'm there. Eh. Eh. Come on. Come on. Eh. 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 Oh, this is a fine mess I've gotten myself into. Eh. Must. Escape. So I can talk about weird dreams I've had in life. Boing. Boing. Alright. Just gotta line it up. It's actually very nerve-wracking. Ooh, just barely made it. Come on. Come on. We're almost home free. We're almost home. Oh, God. I almost actually fell right down that chasm. That was actually kind of funny how I just barely made that jump. I actually forgot there was a jump right there. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, hey, oh, little convenient bridge. Thank you very much. 
But yes, anyways, in terms of weird dreams I've been having lately, it's been really weird. There was actually something after I, like, did a binge play of this game, after I live-streamed it, like, I think, like, two months ago, maybe a couple weeks ago. I honestly don't remember, but it was basically where it was, like, I was being chased by the giant terrifying spider that's also right behind me right now. But Rock, can you move any faster? Rock? 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 Come on. It's getting closer. God, the way that thing moves is just terrifying. Oh god, no! No! <clears throat> I hit the B button instead of the A button. That's what happens when you panic. But then again, being chased by a giant terrifying spider, who wouldn't panic in that situation? But anyways, uh, dreams I've been having, it's been, a, like, a cavalcade of weird dreams, like, one of which was, after I was talking about, like, being chased by the giant spider, it was, like, it was, like, a very, like, amnesia setting, where it was, like, I was, like, going through corridors while the thing was chasing me around, like, one of the monsters in that game, but, like, any time I heard it get near me, all of a sudden, hello, my baby, hello, my darling, hello, my right time gal, like, the frog from the... Looney Tunes just started playing for no reason. Ow. Don't worry. I'm alright. Nothing broken. Except my ribs. Spine. Possibly everything else. But yeah, it's been real weird. And oh. Hey, buddy. Hey, you okay? You okay? Yeah. Oh. Oh. Honestly, I don't know if that's actually a person, like, the game, like, tells. Because we will actually kind of run into people later. But that thing moves more like it's, like, a doll of some sort. I don't know. It's it's the silhouettes that make it kind of hard. Oop. And we got a rope. Well, as you can see, right above it, we got a bear trap. So what we're going to do is jump on the rope and jump back. So we don't get munched. And we're going to jump back on the rope and do a little bit of swinging. But yeah, other weird dreams I've been having, uh, one consists of me being in World War One for some reason, but instead of everyone using guns, everyone was using bread. It was like, everyone, like, used, like, those long bread sticks and just started shooting little loaves of bread out of them at each other. It was weird to be the very least. Um, other dr weird dreams I've been having was I celebrated Christmas with the Grim Reaper, who for some reason talked like Jack Skeleton. Don't ask me where I've been doing, and no, I have not been taking LSD lately. All I do know is I need to jump. Because everything in this game is designed to specifically kill me. Me and no one else. But yeah, that has been a few of the weird dreams I've been having. I don't know if it's like... I've just been experiencing weird things, and oh no, not another one of you. Oh. Hello? Oh! Uh oh. Uh oh. No! No! I'm sorry! I didn't mean to anger you! Oh. Ha <laughs> ha! You can't hit me. Now I'll just go right through. Hey, you dick! So you're the one who was messing with that thing. Well, yeah, see? I can do it too, Watch. I'm a better leg operator than you are. That's what she said? I don't know. But whatever, I'm going to go back there and pay, give that a piece of my mind. And God, can I actually word things decently? Uh, uh oh. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh! Oh. A comedian, eh? Oh, you're gonna just throw more funny things at me. All right. Well, you know what? I, you know what? Oh, there's two of you. You know what? I'm gonna come up there and I'm gonna kick your ass. Throw flaming things at me while operated fake spiders leg, trying to force me to confront my my spider phobia. I actually momentarily forgot the name of it. Arachnophobia. There, see, I could actually do it. Wow, people are being a bunch of dicks to me lately. Uh oh. Yep. Hmm. 
Well, I could jump over there, and it actually kind of says that you could jump over there, but if you can see, the bear trap landed face up, so if I jump over there, it's going to be Munch City. However, we got a rope, and we got another rope. I'm going to go up there, I'm going to go kick that guy's ass. Yep, uh, oh, you dick! You know, I hope ironic intervention comes out and kicks your guy's ass. We seem to have, like, a messed up version of the Lost Boys here because we got, like, kids, or supposedly kids, like, being hung all over the place. We got, like, tree houses and all that stuff. We got giant wads of spiders. Oh, God. What the hell? Was that kid, like, laying back headfirst, like, feet sticking straight up into the air? I don't know. I'm going to have to go back through the video footage and check and see if that's actually what happened.